Hey everybody, this is Sister Johnny and you know what time it is. It's time for the Holy What Report. That's right, we're getting ready to go in. Now if you've been following the Holy What Report, then you know I've been talking about blockchain technology last year. So today, I wanted to revisit it. So in the Holy What Report today, it's all about blockchain technology. And if you're an investor, I'm not telling you how to invest, but you definitely need to look into this blockchain technology. First, what I want to do is I want to go over some terms, get that out of the way so we can get to these articles. The first term is blockchain. What is it? Simply put, blockchain is a shared immutable ledger that lets you record the history of transactions by establishing trust, accountability, and transparency. It transforms the way we carry out transactions and can be adopted in virtually any contract, deed, or payment. Blockchain can be used across businesses, industries, and even the world. In hood terminology, blockchain is like the internet on steroids, only this time it will include your digital file that will never go away. Y'all heard me. Okay, the next term I want to get out of the way is decentralization. Decentralization is the process by which the activities of an organization, particularly those regarding planning and decision making, are distributed or delegated away from a central authoritative location or group. Okay, let's get to these articles. The first article I'll be reading was published on April 16th. 2019. All the links will be down below. A recent report by the Financial Times has revealed that the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, IMF, have collaborated to launch a private blockchain network which will enable explorations and experimentations and to distributed ledger technology DLT okay this was back in 2019 the next article that I'll be reading was published on February 24th 2021 State Bank of India ties up with JP Morgan for use of blockchain technology I'm just going to leave it down in the link so you can read the article. India is likely to rely on blockchain technology for tamper-proof degree certificates. And this was put out February 7th, 2018. Here's another article. Blockchain technology in healthcare market is booming worldwide with Microsoft, ISOF, and IBM. This article is put out on February 23rd, 2021. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to leave it right there. The next article was put out on February 23rd, 2021. And this article was put out by Coin Telegraph. U.S. Education Department promotes putting student records on blockchain. This article was put out March 2nd, 2021. Russian oil and gas giant completes trial blockchain based smart fueling system. Y'all hear that? Okay, the next one I'm going to be reading is from Steel Guru Business News, and it's about Canada. Canada selects Mavinet for blockchain-based steel, S-T-E-E-L, traceability. The government of Canada has turned to the private sector to find ways to improve the end-to-end traceability of the steel supply chain in Canada. This next article was put out by SB Wire. This article was put out on March 4th, 2021. Blockchain in agriculture and food supply chain market to see huge growth by 2025. The next article was put out on March 4th, 2021. Squares $297 million deal for Jay-Z's music service title may bring blockchain to masses. And this last article was put out on March 2nd, 2021. And this article reads, Sony Europe follows in the steps of global 500 firms like Google and Samsung and joining the Theta Networks Violator Program. All right, that'll do it for the Holy What Report for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to visit me at sisterjohnny.com, sisterjonnie.com. Thank you so much for listening to the Holy What Report. Signing out.